Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Zoe Bad Blood Collectibles and today on the channel we're going to be going over some toy news. So yes, it's been a while since a, I made a last review only because I've been down, I've been having allergy attacks and then not only that I had to go to the dentist. I still have another dentist appointment tomorrow. I mean next week I gotta pull my wisdom tooth. Just so much is going on and then not only that I created a review of the new Wolverine that I got the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 2024 and that video somehow I downloaded it onto the YouTube channel and then I'll start watching it and next thing you know everything starts skipping words were missing the sound didn't play so I'm like what the heck is going on so unfortunately I had to take that video down then I made another video of my uh, Hulk Buster, wh why the why I think that my Hulk Buster that I just got is the best Hulk, Hulk Buster for 112. And then that video was all messed up. So then I took that down. So here we are today. I have to go back and I have to do everything back over. So luckily I got some good news today with the new G.I. Joe from Mesco 112, Duke. I'm so glad to be able to have that figure and also review it for you guys. So stay tuned to the channel for that. But let's go and go over these news. We're going to go over this first and then we'll talk about everything else because there's a lot that I want to talk about with such a little short time. So first thing on the list that I do want to talk about is the Deadpool Wolverine from Mesco 112. This was something that they show at Mesco uh, at Comic-Con 24. Mesco showed off their Deadpool figure and it looks freaking awesome. Look at that suit. And the thing that I like about Mesco 112 is for the fact that all their suits are um all their suits are um are seamless, which is great. So you don't have to see none of the joints. And then we don't get none of that shiny plastic. Now I do know with the eyes, the eyes that you have to take you have to take them off and then swap them out with the other ones so that way you give them different expressions, just like the SH figure arts. Uh, I think that was the great choice instead of having the extra heads so that way we could get more accessories and as you can see on the blades of the reflection it is freaking Wolverine Mesco 112 has yet to show us the Wolverine figure for the Deadpool of Wolverine and I'm so excited because this is a Wolverine that I must have in my collection I am a huge fan of Wolverine and I can't wait to get him but let's go ahead and go over some of the accessories that he comes with as you can see Deadpool Wolverine Deadpool uh, deluxe edition. We got three throwing knives and a mug. Also, two katana swords and katana sheaths as well. And then also we do get dog pull, which is freaking awesome, right? It's good to have animals in your collection. I love that from Mesco. And then not only that, we get four pairs of exchangeable, uh, magnetic eyes. That these are magnetized, so even better than SH Figure Arts. These are actually you guys. This may be, hands down, the best 6-inch Thor figure that we're going to ever get so far from 112 scale. This is the original comic version of Thor with the bendy wire, with the clothes intact, the great articulation. We got Swivel going on. He's huge. He's thick. He's beefy. And he has the classic look with the wings on the helmet and the long hair. He looks freaking awesome. This is the best Thor figure that I've ever seen. I've been waiting for Mezco to bring out an original Thor figure, which we still haven't got. And Marvel Legends, I think their Thor figures suck. But this one right here looks freaking awesome. Now, I'm outside recording this video, so you might hear some noise. But other than that, I think this figure looks freaking awesome look at giant and beefy this dude is i love the silver pieces on his suit as well you can see the reflection from the light so that is freaking awesome as well with the beautiful cape the cape look like it's nice and it seems like he's going to have great articulation with the head. As you can see in this head scope, there are two different head scopes. We do get the one where he's showing his teeth. So that is good enough for me. Just those two are good enough. But if they could give us a head scope with the open mouth of him yelling, that would be even awesome. Even better, you know, freaking awesome, you know. And then here we are again with another expression. Is that the same one? Okay, it's the same one. 
But yeah, man, this is freaking awesome. As you can see, we do get the paw joints. It's almost like a Mesco figure with the joints, the way they make the joints for the double jointed elbows. We also get the swivel. Uh, you can tell that he, I don't know if he's had butterfly joints, but it doesn't look like it. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure we get the swivel the whole nine yards with the double jointed knees as well. And uh, man, I'm so excited for this figure. Definitely going to pre-order this as soon as it becomes available. I need to go check on Instagram again to make sure that he's not already available. So that way I can pre-order him. Now, I did pre-order the Zon figure. Um, that one was okay. I had some issues, a lot of issues with the Zon figures. But overall, I really do love, love the figure. But this thing right here is freaking awesome. So let me know what you think in the comment section below about this. Thor figure. Is this going to be a pickup for you? This is definitely a pickup for me, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Let's talk about some Marvel Legends. Hey everybody, so here we are with Marvel Superhero Secret Wars 40th year. Uh, this is freaking awesome, I do have to say. I'm very excited for that Iron Man figure. It seemed like I already had that one, but we'll see. I want to see what else he comes with. If it's just the same old boring stuff, I'm going to skip out on that. Because I already had the original Iron Man. Yeah, that might be a skip. But anyways, we do get the Spider-Man Venom Black Soup. That one looks freaking awesome. And then we also get Captain America with the Broken Shield, which is freaking awesome with new head scopes. And then also Wolverine. And then the other two don't even know who they are. So let's really go over these real quick. I'll try to do this as fast as possible. But here they are all in the box. As you can see, we got Iron Man with some of his accessories. And let's kind of zoom up on there and see what those are. And it seems like they are missiles or whatever. Plus it's two hand. And then we also get something else. So, and then also we get these little uh, photo for, uh, photos of each figure. Uh, but man, look at that Spider-Man Venom. The eyes on that one looks freaking awesome. So I'm definitely going to get this one if I see it uh, before it sells out. I'm going to pass on the Wolverine. And then also, I'm definitely going to get this Captain America figure. This one I definitely got to have. I regret getting rid of my Captain America that I gave to my buddy from Marvel Legends. I think it was the 20th year anniversary or the 80th year anniversary one, whichever one. I did get that one up, but definitely going to get this one because I love that broken shield. And then also, we do have Marvel's Beyonder. That's his name. I don't know who he is, but... There it is with all of his accessories. You can see, tell that this is the least uh, one out of all of them is him. And then this girl right here is Titania. Uh, she also just comes with two grabbing hands and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, but anyways, going down, let's go back to the bottom. Uh, Spider-Man comes with six pairs of exchangeable hands. Iron Man comes with, uh, I said six pairs. I messed up, but he comes with three pairs of exchangeable hands, and then we also got Iron Man with four, uh, four exchangeable hands plus one, so that's five all together. Wolverine comes with two closed fists and two, uh, closed fists with the claws out, and then we get uh, Captain America with six exchangeable hands as well, and then the other two just come with an extra pair of hands. So. That is freaking awesome that Marvel Legends decided to bring this out. Now, the first one we got is the Venom suit of Spider-Man. We got Iron Man. That one looks really nice. I love the color. I love the yellow. And then I also love the red, the, the way they went about this. But I, I like I said, I already have Mesco 112 Iron Man, so not interested in this one. But this one does look really nice. And we might get the eyes inside the helmet. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that from here. No. So you don't get the eyes. You just get the regular white. But it still looks pretty dope. Remind me of the one from the game of Marvel vs. Capcom. And then here we are with the best one out of all of them. This is Captain America and the Broken Shield. This one looks freaking awesome. No, this one's going to be a top one on the list. And then here we are with Marvel Legends, the other guy, which is terrible. This one looks terrible as well. I mean... Uh, to, it, it depends like they don't come with extra head scopes or nothing and then here we are with this one this one comes with an extra head scope as well as we already seen it now next on the list i do want to talk about the spider-man this is a two-pack uh, i think this was came out like two weeks ago or a week ago i do want to talk about it just a little bit but this guy right here 
it's from the regular uh, the Spider-Man cartoon back in the day in the 90s and then we also get Spider-Man with his unmasked head that looks freaking awesome and he's holding his mask in his hand so I might pick up this one because this is one of my favorite Spider-Man figures um, uh, one of my favorite Spider-Man and the media today I still love the 1990 cartoon that I, I watch everything I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid I'm 36 now but I still will watch it, and I still love it. That was, so that's how big of a fan I am with the old Spider-Man cartoon. Other than that, uh, I'm not that much of a huge fan of the Spider-Man, but I do love the Into the Spider-Verse and with Miles Morales and that whole thing that's going on with Sony. So freaking awesome there. So let me know, are these a pickup for you? Are any of these figures pickups for you? If they are, let me know which ones you're going to Hey guys, talking about McFarland DC Multiverse, here we are with one of them is the Joker. This is one of the figures that I've seen lately that's uh, been out. And one thing I was kind of let down by McFarland, he's coming out with all these wire capes and stuff. Why not come out with a soft good Joker, at least with the jacket? How dope would that be? Unfortunately, we didn't get that. That would have been dope if we could have with the flower even being some type of soft good material that would have been freaking awesome but the stroker nonetheless looks very nice unfortunately i'm not collecting seven inch scale uh mcfarland figures but i am collecting the bad guys just the bad guys that are tall that's supposed to be big like dark side and then here we are with our robin with the bendable wire cape this one looks pretty nice as well don't like the mask the mask look kind of bad but it's just another version of robin and then next we do got this guy i don't even know his name i forgot his name uh but he looks okay and you could see, one thing about me finally dc multiverse i hate for the fact that all the body styles are the same they all based off the same thing no different mods on the suits or everything is just the same so i, I kind of like i i hate that but it is what it is. And then here we are with Sinestro again. Another Sinestro figure. This one looks super ugly to me. Hit me up in the comment section below if you disagree. But to me this looks ridiculous. Especially the diaper on there. Look at that gap on that diaper. Whoever took this photo should be uh, need to get in trouble or need to be fired. That is bad photography right there. That looks terrible. You make the figure look ugly with that raggedy diaper that he has on there but anyways i love the head scope on this dude i think it's pretty dope but man look at that this dude doesn't even come with a wire cape so for the fact that it doesn't come with the wire cape and then look at the molding on the plastic we can see that marble like marvel legends does uh, it makes the figure looks uh makes the figure look like it's cheap so therefore this is definitely going to be a pass for me uh, like I got the other Sinestro definitely have to have them for my six inch line but this one I'm definitely gonna pass on and then next this one is freaking awesome I might go ahead and buy this one just for shelf presence and put it at the top with the rest of my Batman collection this is actually nice and I'm hoping that they do give the God Warrior to go with this Batman how dope would that be but here we are with a soft good bendy wire cape which finally finally uh, McFarlane actually add on to this kind of style Batman and then this is the Noel Batman from the comic books and this one looks freaking awesome I do have to say as far as everything but um, yeah this thing I have nothing bad to say about this figure I just want to see what else he comes with and I'm hoping he comes with the statue and also the other piece that you see in the back the cross that would be really nice with some exchangeable hands and maybe even an exchangeable head. Alright you guys, here's another one we got uh, McFarlane's coming out with. Lately is a new one. And this is the dog and also Batman with the bendy wire cape as well. Looks really nice. If you're into that, you go ahead and get that one. And then last but not least, we do have Batman Beyond. Uh, this is one of the figures based off of one of the comic books, I believe. And uh, this Batman Beyond figure looks, to me, looks okay. I don't like it. But a lot of people does. Um, may like it. I don't know. I said does. But a lot of people may like this figure i don't and i hate for the fact that even with the other batman beyond figure that i have in my collection i have like three of them 
I hate for the fact that we had those big old giant wings in the back and you can't get rid of them. He should find a way where he could actually pull the figure off. Otherwise, it would be dope because that Batman Beyond figure is one of my favorite Batman figures in my collection. So let me know what you think about guys so i'm working on a new project right now i'm working on a bunch of projects this is just one of them but this is one of my main focus right now and that is uh the justice league versus dark side this one is from beast kingdom this is a dope dark side i actually like this one better than storm collectibles this one has the look of dark side it, it captures dark side at his best and then also i'm using like i said i'm a huge fan of mezco that's my number one line it's my go-to line for dc and marvel and uh this is my favorite mezco figure right here we do have the man of steel and uh like i said this project is going to take a lot of work a lot of time a lot of creativity as you can see here i was just practicing with the lighting, see what kind of lights I want to use that will show off Dark Side at his best. You want Dark Side to look mean. You want him to look uh, like he's like very scary. Just even looking at him, I remember I had a dream of being in a world where Dark Side like came on Earth and was destroying everything. It looked so freaking real, and this dude looked menacing in the dream. So when I woke up, it gave me ideas, and I immediately start working on this project. I woke up. I woke up and then I went in my room and and I started going to work and man I had some fun just practicing taking some photos of what kind of ideas I can come up with to make this dark side pop and not only that but to go against the freaking Justice League how dope will that be we got him flying up in the air like he did in a cartoon as you can see I just like like I said these are practice photos here he is again when I actually um, deleted the um, stand over here. Have this dude like floating in the air. He looks freaking awesome. And then, like I said, this Beast Kingdom Dark Side is so dope. We had the light up eyes. We do have the beam effects. He comes with two of them, two separate beam effects for each eye, which is really nice. Only thing I just don't like is for the fact that we don't get the lighting in the chest or in the waist. But other than that, this dude has the articulation. He has everything else, and he looks freaking awesome. So, with this album, what I'm going to do is do a whole photo album of the Justice League versus Dark Side. Dark Side coming to Earth for the first time, and he's going to go against all the superheroes. Now, I have a job for you guys. If you're interested in this, hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know who do you want to see win on the first arrival of, of Darkseid. Do you want the Justice League to win or do you want Darkseid to win? So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know who you think should win this battle. We got Superman. We have Batman, we also have the full Justice League roster, we have um, Dr. Fate, here's some practice photos that I was just doing, this is definitely not going to be in the final product of my photo album, but it's just some work, look, like, he's even missing his head, but here we are, we got Firestorm, we also got um, Red Arrow, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, uh, Black Adam, also, uh, Aquaman, The Flash, we also got the uh, Shazam, and also Firestorm, and uh, what's his name? I can't even think of his name right now, but yeah, the guy that does magic, and Dr. Fate himself, so this is going to be freaking awesome, John Constantine, we have all of them there, and I was just fooling around, like, seeing what I can do, but I think this is where I might start off with, is the Justice League being together as Dr. Fate comes to warn them that Dark Side is coming. So hit me up in the comment section below. So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about some of the photos that you just seen. And are you excited and hyped for what I have to bring to the table and what I have to offer when I come out with this photo album, comic book style uh video? It's gonna be pretty long, probably ten minutes long. Of nothing but some freaking dope action with the comic strip as well. We're gonna have Dark Side scene like never before sitting on his throne. These are actual 
So I've been putting a lot of time into this project. Here we are with the side sitting next, uh, standing next to Dark Side as Dark Side is sitting down. We have Stephen Wolf even being on this uh, photo album as well. There he is right there. I'm using the one from Zack Snyder because I love that version. But look at that freaking Dark Side. He looks freaking amazing with those freaking red eyes. So. Let me know what you think in the comment section below with the work that I'm doing and also support the channel. Help the channel grow by simply liking this video and also subscribing if you're new here and help this channel grow and and uh, get this video out, share it once I do drop the video of the photo album. Go ahead and share it and get it out there so people could be known about me and then come and also support this channel where I could do more giveaways and do all kind of stuff um, do more live streams everything everything just got pushed back only because I got kind of down under weather with the allergies and the dental appointments and all that but now I am back and I'm back strong coming out with the Duke project with the GI Joe's we have Duke, so I'm so excited to present that guys uh, to present that guy to you guys, and then also uh, take some dope photos of Duke and uh, some Snake Eyes, 